Hello, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Hoppy. I'm Mark Frory. This is Carol Vales, aka Hoppy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to jump right into today's episode. First of all, though, before I do that, I just want to mention here we are at Hunter Appliance once again. Uh, they are gracious enough to uh, sponsor the show for us. And yeah, we are great. at the DCS Kitchen, which is where we've done all our shows, I think. Um, so, a little plug for Hunter Appliance. Mm -hmm. If you come down here, you'll see not only this kitchen, uh, which we'll be using today, but many others, and there are several uh, demo kitchens as well that you can uh, check out. So, with that said, uh, today we're going to be doing a brunch, and um, which will consist of uh, a sausage hash, mm -hmm. uh, some potatoes, and eggs, and also um, a salad. salad and yeah. toast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay. Okay. First, um, I pre-baked these potatoes. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna split them open and put a little bit of olive oil on and put them in a hot oven so they'll be crunchy. Okay. So just cut them. What do you set the oven to? I put it at 400. Okay. All right, so, so you're making little crosses like yep. that. Not cut all the are, way through. Um, Yukon gold potatoes. I like the yellow color. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. You just put them on the baking sheet, kind of open them up a little bit. Just like that, mm -hmm. all right. Stay there. And if people are vegetarians, they can just eat the potatoes and the, okay. the salad that we have available. And then if people are there. Is there a particular meeting. brand of oil you like to use? Um, or this what? is extra virgin. Extra virgin oil, okay. And then put a few sprigs of rosemary on this. Nice. Now I know with you sometimes presentation is half the, mm -hmm. um, to make it look good, not only taste and good. And for the aroma, yeah. And smells the aroma. quite medicinal. Wow, so, mm -hmm. that is really nice. Let me put some salt on this too. All right. Here, you can put these in the okay. oven. Okay, and how long are we gonna cook these for? Um, probably like 15 minutes. We have to keep watching them to okay. make sure we don't burn them. All right. Top shelf? Yes, no, put them on the bottom. Bottom. Otherwise it's, it's too hot. All right, good. Now we can get going on the, the hash. Instead yep. of a breakfast sausage, I'm using Italian sausage. Oh, okay. I tried it with the hot one, but it was really... Let me just show this before... Uh, it was too... It's just an Italian sausage there. And this is out of the casing, so you don't have to... Deal with that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. All right, so I just have to chop this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just to get it so it's like ground hamburger. Yeah. So the weather is turning nicer and, um, mm -hmm. you know... You can put this on your grill. Yeah. yeah. You could just cook outside. Yeah. But often, uh, you know, brunches are kind of like a spring, summery mm -hmm. thing. You know, most people do brunches around that time of year, so. And a lot of people, you don't feel like eating till 10 in the morning instead of right. 7 or 8. Right. Right. All right, we can just let that get going. Okay, good. So while that's going, we have, uh, what kind of eggs are you going to be using? Um, we're going to be using a fried egg. Okay. Uh, if you want it, people want an egg, you can make an egg, but I just like it plain. Yeah. And we're gonna actually going to put the egg on top of the mm -hmm. uh, potato, right? Yeah, we're going to have an alternate to this also. We're going to do it on um, a pizza. So we'll put a, a layer of um, the hash, yeah. potatoes, and ah. then um, a fried egg on top and bake it. Nice. Nice. So now we're slicing the carrots for the salad, mm -hmm. right? And um, you're going to do something a little bit different, which is... Um, you're going this, to... It's almost going to be like a uh, Chinese stir-fry with the vegetables, the, uh, the carrots, the celery, and garlic. Yeah. It has a Chinese flavor. Okay. And you like to make, again, presentation is, is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So you like to um, cut the carrots at a, at a slight, like a 45-degree angle. Mm -hmm. Just Well, you can cut them any way you care to. True. I just like to cut them and cut them maybe like a quarter of an inch wide so they don't take too long to saute. Okay. If they're too thick, then it'll take forever. 
We also have some celery, but you're going to do a little trick with the celery to, uh, Oops, so that, yeah, yeah I, got it. I got it. I'm the sous chef. I okay. do all this stuff. Okay, you do the, you, you do the hard stuff. You I do the easy stuff. You can just throw it in the, the sink right oh, Okay, here. gotcha. All right. And cut the both ends of the celery off. Okay. So it's been a while since we taped the show. I know. Um, you know, I know, too busy I know your, your fans, yep. your uh -huh. fans have been really clamoring for a new, new episode. <laughs> I hear it all the time. Yeah. We're glad that people watch and tune yeah, in and, sure. you know, especially again, glad to Hunter Appliance for allowing us mm -hmm. to do something local right here in town. And I like to uh, de-string my celery. Just take that peeler and takes all the string off there. Ah. So you have to get slightly deep into the into the root? Yeah. Well, you could feel it. See how it goes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. And it peels off. Ah. Well, sometimes you could just take a knife and just peel it off. Of your yeah, it works like much it. easier with yeah. this. I feel you get more off with the peeler. Oh, that's good. Because mm -hmm. celery is the thing that always gets stuck in your teeth. Yeah, it's a pain. Never really... I never really put two and two together all these years to realize that the stringy part, there's, there's meat mm -hmm. underneath the string. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, how do how would you like me to cut up the celery the same way? Yes. Uh huh. Little, yep. little, little angles. Mm -hmm. All right. And try to go. keep it thin, like this, so it will. They're gonna cook a lot faster. Okay. I'd rather have more vegetables in my foods than meat. Now, as you taught me in. Episode one, uh -huh. we keep the knife blade on the, I know you don't do it all the time because mm -hmm. you're an expert, but it's good to keep the knife blade on the, the tip of it on the uh, board and that way, you know, more control and mm -hmm. you don't lose a digit. Oh, look at that. Look at, see that? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so our sausage is browning up mm -hmm. back there nicely. Doesn't seem to be breaking up as much. Everything's starting to smell good. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little thyme in there. So, you do want to tell people that there is some preparation to this. You know, a lot of recipes we do are, pre are very, fairly quick. Mm -hmm. There is some preparation to this, so it's, you know, and, and that's okay because a lot of times when people have brunch, they're having guests over. They're yep. expecting to, you know, to, to make a, and prepare a meal. And you can just do this ahead of time and. Do it the night before and then... And just brown it up. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll bring this over. You can squish all the vegetables in here. Oh, okay. So it might be easier to bring it to the... All the garlic. With the... Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Right. yeah? bring it over here. It in there. Good. That. So we put garlic in there also. Chopped yeah. garlic. There's some celery. Now normally we have three cameras on a production like this, but our van, affectionately known as the Marshmallow, because it looks like a big marshmallow, um, is out for repairs right now. So we couldn't fit the big ladder in there and hence the overhead shot that looks down here and looks back there and all that nice food sizzling is not available. So we're gonna we'll have to do a little bit of old school today. So how long, um, you just have to you still keep the vegetables crisp? Yep, slightly, uh-huh. It right. doesn't take too long. And then so you not, put in like... Um, I noticed you didn't put any oil or anything in there, right? No, because there's so much from the uh, sausage. Oh, right. And then you put in, I think, I forgot how much it was. Okay. You put in probably, let take this off. And what is that? Soy sauce, uh, no, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I'd probably put in like that's about, about a quarter a half, of a half, half a, a cup. cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. It just seems strange, but it just has a nice flavor to it. And we'll do a um, another version of this instead of having it on the potato. We'll put it on a pizza. A pizza dough, mm -hmm. really? So it's kind of like the the works in a way. Yep. So this is dough you prepared? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And how long uh, did you do it this morning or last night? Yes, I did this okay. morning. So it's been sitting since probably 7 o'clock. Okay. So, um, silly questions, but this is going to be baked. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. We're going to use the hash yep. and slice up them some potatoes and the hash, and then we'll put an egg on it. We'll bake it for a while, and then put an egg on it. All right. So we have some dough, and uh, and I forgot my rolling pin, so we're going to have to use a. It looks like an olive oil bottle. Nice. Mm -hmm. We. Uh, Improvise when needed. Yep. What do you want to roll? I'll see how you do one and then I'll. How many are you making? Just a couple. Okay. So just try to go from the middle to the outside. Okay. And try to get it thin. I don't like. So you're getting it roughly the size of a, a pita, mm -hmm. a pita yep. piece of pita bread? I'm just going for the uh, thinness of it. I like it thinner than. Thick. Now, is, do you find that it cooks better that way, or is that just a preference? I, just pr I prefer thin, yeah. thin crusts. Okay. Over there. Good. Okay. Then, if you want to try one, I will try one. All right. You know, just watch me. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Just don't break the bottle. Don't go too hard. All right. Let's okay. see how I do here. If you can press a little bit. This is a prop, there's nothing in this bottle. I think Hoppy had it before the show. Mmm, this smells so good. Sometimes she doesn't hear everything I say and that's probably a good thing. I'm not watching you now. So. Alright, good? Alright. I just want to put a little bit of oil on the pan just so it won't stick as much. Okay. I don't like to compare, but my um, my dough compared to her dough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can tell which one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So now we can um, put this. Is up. that hot? A little bit hot. Okay. You want to just lift it up a little bit? Yeah. There you go. I'll put it there. We have to cut up potatoes. Okay. Now these potatoes we're going to actually do in um, slices. Slices. And these are pre-baked also. Okay. So just cut them in. I'm just going to give a little wipe to this blade. Rather thin oh shoot, slices. Okay. So they'll cook fast. So this is like a pepperoni on the pizza, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. I guess we could put a little bit of pepper in there too. There we go. How's that? Good? Perfect. All right. And then when the hash finishes, we'll put that on and then bake it for like 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Still at the same temperature. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which was 400 degrees. a little bit of red color. Nice. Oh, that's looking really good and mm -hmm. smelling good too. Yeah, it's so good. We have some fresh rosemary. Put in this. Some rosemary in there, that's nice. And thyme. Let's put that in when we first started cooking. It's never a bad time for thyme. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I know. Do you have a whole book of these jokes here? I'm thinking of writing one. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can put some of this on there. Okay. Oops. You can. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Oh man, I think it the does smell good. Wow. And we'll just cook I this. Really, to get the, uh, um, Smell that Worcestershire. I know. To get the dough cooked first, that's the biggest thing. And then we'll cook Add it later. Add some more afterwards. And then we put the egg on it. Yeah. The, uh, the fried egg. All right, this can go in All the right. oven for like 15 minutes. All right, well, the, the rack that is available is a top one. That's okay? Okay, yep, that's fine. That's All perfect. Right. Okay, I'm going to put this. Through. I just want to show mm -hmm. that 
how that looks down there. Doesn't that look nice? All right. Now we're doing a, a, a white bean and tomato saute. A white bean. And tomato. And tomato saute. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. Uh, when you say white bean, what do you mean by that? It's a white bean. Well. <laughs> it's it's well, a cannelli bean. Shame on me. I know you can use. Aren't I there more they, than one type of one? Butter white beans. Bean? I'm not sure if butter bean is the same as a white bean, but All right. I'm just gonna chop these. Now, if up you remember roughly. from from mm -hmm. past shows, you like to take out some of the pulp of yeah. tomatoes. Yeah, we'll we'll just leave it in this one. You gonna today. leave it in this yeah. one? All right. Mm -hmm. But first, we have to saute some bacon. But the reason she does that is because it's, um... Because what? I just don't want all the, the seeds in there right. for a lot of recipes. Right. That's good. This is the plum tomato. So now we have some bacon, and mm -hmm. we're cutting it into uh, bacon bits. Yeah. And I remember another show, you love bacon. Oh, I do. Yeah. Bill does, too. Yeah. It has all four food groups in mm -hmm. it, as far as I'm concerned. Now, what is this going to do that we're making now? This is going to be for the sauteed tomatoes, and the, the beans are going to go in there. Yeah. And it's just going to be like a side dish. It's just, you just eat it as yeah. it is? Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So I'm trying to make a lot of a, it's like a vegetarian. Would you like me to cut up this other sure, I tomato? Sure. Okay. I need a little bit of garlic. Just take out some of the grease. Yeah. And we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here, a little bit of uh, vinegar, and some basil. Okay. Kind of thick. All right. All right. So that was. It's gonna be a salad with avocado. So this is already a little mixed green. And rinsed. Even though they say it's triple wash, quadruple wash, I wash it again. So you yeah. quintemp quintuple yeah. wash it. I don't trust them at the, uh, mm -hmm. the stores. So you can, uh, if I get this out, oops. you can peel this. Okay. I think you can, you can just peel it off. I'm not sure. Yeah, just take it. Look at that. Before you cut your hand off. This is a good size avocado. Mm -hmm. Use it for the dressing. Where are your earrings from? I'm just curious. <laughs> Say the, thr say the thrift shop. <laughs> no, that, That'll make Barbara McRae Oh, happy. yeah, the uh, thrift shop. My shirt is from the thrift shop. Yeah. See? Yeah. And, a little plug for the thrift shop, all the benefits of, uh, or proceeds rather, go to the Friends of the Council on Aging, which pay for all those great programs they put on, mm -hmm. all the luncheons and different entertainment that comes in at the COA. All right, so now we're using the food processor. You've got a little bit of, what's that, sour cream? Um, this yogurt. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. A dash lemon of juice. sea salt, some lemon juice, and avocado. And now we're going to... With my... Uh, with some olive oil. Interesting. So what is this going to be for? Like the, a, the dressing? That's the dressing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say avocado is a, a very healthy fat for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I love it on toast. Almonds, mm -hmm. um, or most kind of nuts, um, and avocados are great for people who are uh, watching their weight mm -hmm. but need the protein. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, so good. All right, you can cut that um, avocado in slices. Okay. Put a little bit of vinegar in this. And this avocado is strictly just for to layer into the salad, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you want to put more into your salad, that's fine, but I just like it just plain. I just like mostly greens. Yeah. Uh, spread that around a little bit. Mmm. So recently you've been cooking quite a bit, trying out new recipes, so I anticipate that in the coming weeks we'll have a lot of nice things for our folks at home to try. Mm -hmm. You can put a little bit of this on the... I don't know if I 
Beautiful. Notice the, the presentation know, on that. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think a little red yeah. onion would be good on this. Yeah, let's like, add some color to that. It's like a, uh, what do you call it? You want me to slice that up? Okay. Be like guacamole. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, now we have our little pizzas out of the oven. They, they're about half, half cooked. Yeah. cooked mm -hmm. Half cooked. So um, we're going to uh, crack an egg on. Yeah, them. come on over here. Oops, oops, broke that one. Bad, bad. Okay, then we can put them back in the okay, oven. Okay, great. Did you take a look at the potatoes while you were in there? Yes, they're still. That's fine. They can go. And I think I'm going to add a little of um, tomato paste where the tomatoes aren't that vibrant this time of year. I like to put tomato paste just to enhance the uh, yeah. tomato flavor a little bit. Just like a In the summer, though, when things are more fresh, yeah, you don't you really do this. Uh, but you can if you want. But yeah. I just... Now, what did you say? That that adds a little vibrancy to the... Uh, it just gives more tomato flavor. Okay. That's like I always put tomato paste in all my tomatoes, like crushed tomatoes I mm -hmm. make. It's just really concentrated tomatoes. Do you have a garden in the summer? No, we don't. No? Too many animals in our area. Oh. Uh, and plus we have like four farm stands near us. That's true. So we just let them bring in all the nice produce. Just want to, you know, tell people and remind people that we have, still in Littleton, we have operating farm stands that have been there for generations and and um, we encourage you to shop local mm -hmm. for your vegetables and your things like that. Yeah. Shop local, help people stay in business, keep that, that small town character of Littleton going, you know, mm -hmm. the farms. And here's some last minute, um, I didn't want to have just plain toast, mm. so I found a recipe where you put in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of cheddar with uh, ah. three cups of flour and one and a half cups of beer and then you just mix it together and you put half of the cheese in the batter, put it in a pan and then you put half the cheese on top. So it almost comes like biscotti. Wow. Yeah. And you let it chill, I mean, uh, cool down for like a half an hour. I love the look of it though. And it's... then you just take it out of the pan and just cut it at an angle and then you cook them on one side and then they bake and then you bake them on the other side. Wow. So it's almost like a, a couscous. So it, this is, uh, I was gonna ask, uh, what are we gonna do with these? These are just something just people eat. can eat on the yeah, side? Just eat with your hash or. Ah. All right, I believe that our uh, pizzas are ready and mm -hmm. the potatoes, so I'm gonna there bring them out here, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. Um, oh. Wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. I'll just show that first of all. Isn't that nice? Um, Put that right here. And I know I need that- These crostinis for the- Yeah. The and you like, you, you were saying you like to sprinkle a little um, uh -huh. parsley, parsley, fresh parsley yep. on things uh -huh. when they come out. So you can do that. And if you I'll remember way back at the beginning of the show, we had these potatoes. We'll put the, uh, on that. So we'll sure. We'll need another. I'll get another. That's fine. You can put do you want me to put it up here closer? Um, that's fine. Yep. Okay. I'll just show that here. Nice brown edges to it, so they've got a crisp. And those were just baked, pre-baked, and uh, had a little bit of virgin olive oil mm -hmm. spread on it. Yep. And now we just need the, the beans and All the right. hash. So our beans were uh, a white bean with bacon, and uh, what else was in that? Some the parsley. Tomatoes. Oh yes, tomato, yeah. tomato paste. Yeah. And that's going to be like a little side dish. And a little bit of vinegar. We'll show you what that looks like. We can use this with the uh, crostini. Hold that up there. You get a knife. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. And there's some uh, pine needles that got in that by accident. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. There you go. Yeah. Also, we just... while we were waiting, mm -hmm. um, we whipped together this little dessert salad here. This is... Um, 
fresh cantaloupe with blueberries, the parsley stuck in the middle, and then there's some sugar. Mint sugar. Mint sugar that was uh, spread all around there, and that's uh, add a you know add a little sweetness to that. Mm -hmm. But that's delicious as well. Okay, so now, now we we've got the our um, the rest of our hash. Okay, cool. We could just put that here. Yep. So. And now someone would take this out and then put uh -huh. as much hash as they would like on. Yep. You can thing take, a, take a potato if you like. I will do that. Uh -huh. Put this on our plate. And I just need a little scooper. Oh, geez. Okay, great. Oops. This is for the beans. Oh, look at the plate. Thing. And just put it right in the middle, right? Yep. You can just put it on the, the side of your plate, too. Well, what fun would that be? I know. And I'm sure you're going to have some lovely salad, huh? Now look at that. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little bit of this on the side here. Okay. I guess I'll try some too. And one of these. Mm -hmm. And one of these and two of these. Wow, this looks great. And now you slice this up just like you would uh -huh. a pizza? Yep, we can put it on the um, cutting board. Be careful, that might be hot. Okay. Get a large knife. Mm -hmm. Probably we could put two eggs on. You're not getting very much, That's true. very much egg. But that's not too uh, runny not for too, you, so no. that's, this turned out okay. <laughs> I right? can handle that. Oops, lost your egg. It's okay. It's all good. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's show that here. This is a, this is our brunch. Mm -hmm. This is not even with a salad. I know. That's so I'll lot. put a little bit of salad on the side here. With the fresh made avocado dressing. Mm -hmm. And then for dessert, you can top it off with the blueberry cantaloupe. There we go. And we'll take a look at that. Mm, so good. <laughs> it is good. So uh, wow. trust us, folks. You, you're going to want to try this mm -hmm. at home. Yep. We'll put a link on the show mm -hmm. for, for the recipes to, that were uh, cooked and prepared today. But now you're ready for brunch. Mm -hmm. And I am certainly ready for brunch. So thanks for uh, joining us today on uh, Cooking with Hoppy. Thank you, Hoppy, okay. for another delicious <laughs> meal. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks to Hunter Appliance for... Um, allowing us to come in and, and use their kitchen as usual and uh, uh, bon appetit, mm -hmm. as they say. <laughs>